Hello, everyone, and welcome to St. Michael Albertville High School for CTN's live coverage of high school football. It's a North Metro matchup as the Coon Rapids Cardinals take on the St. Michael Albertville Saints. Joe Yon, Howie Shapiro up above, and a beautiful night for football. St. Michael still looking for their first win. This is their home opener, an emotional evening for the local community. We'll talk more about that as we go through the game, uh, but they desperately need a win. They do, and you know, and they, they play Blaine and, and Anoka in their two losses to start the season. So they're, they're going to come out, and they're a running team. They're going to come out and try and test that Cardinal defense by running the ball, and, and that's what they like to do, and that's the strength of their offense. Well, and for the Coon Rapids Cardinals coming off of their first win of the season, uh, bettering Osseo last week in their home opener. And now they're back on the road, and they've got a new single collar under center. Jacob Maddock is going to get the opportunity to get to the start tonight. And when I'm talking to Coach Russin, he said, you know, we like his we like his ability with his legs, and he's got a strong arm. So he's got an opportunity tonight to see what he can do because this is his first game back after missing some time. Yeah, he was uh, ill, not able to compete. And it, we talked about it even last year. These two quarterbacks spent a lot of time back and they forth. Did. So two veterans, really, uh, a nice problem to have for head coach Nick Russin. On the other side, you talk about it, they're a running team, but it all starts with their guy under center. Real Bartle, and he's a running quarterback. Doesn't throw a lot, has uh, about, this about five yards of completion, but he's got 13 carries for 166 yards in a score in the first two games averaging almost 13 yards a carry. So they're going to have to uh, really keep an eye on, on what he does, not only from under center, but when, he, when he's running the ball. And the Cardinals will start on offense again this week. Sophomore kicker Zach Marble teeing it up for the Knights. Well, I'm talking to Coach Essler, Esser. I'm sorry, Essler. He, he told me that uh, we got to watch number two. Everybody talks about uh, Kai John Cummings Coleman. We'll see if they kick the ball away from him. Well, Osseo needed to be taught that lesson on the opening kickoff. <laughs> they were. They were. Um, and they learned it. They did not kick to him after that. This will be a short kick as well. It'll be fielded at about the 22 yard line. Ograski on the return for the Cardinals out to the 35. Make it the 37-yard line. And that we will go down to the sideline and the third member of our team, Bill Huff. Bill. Senior quarterback Jacob Maddett makes his first start under center tonight after coming back from an illness. He missed the first couple games. Last year in seven games, he threw for almost over 1,000 yards, 12 touchdowns, and three interceptions. We'll see what he does to revive the Cardinals' passing attack tonight. Cardinals will start right at their own 35-yard line. And Maddox will start out of the pistol. Flips it to Kaijan running left. There's a flag in the backfield and no gain. And that's gonna go, that's gonna go against the Cardinals. Yeah, it was a hold in the backfield. Yeah, that was an obvious one. And it didn't fool the St. Michael Albertville defense either. 10-yard foul, Pete first down. Puts the Cardinals in a deeper hole. Not the direction you want to go on play one. No. Def definitely not. So they will start first and 20 from their own 25. Matic has Scheller in the backfield with him, wants to throw, looking long for Ogroski down the sideline, makes the catch. A first down into St. Michael territory at the 40-yard line. That was a nice pass, and Lofton, I've... We talked about it. I watched his, uh, his progression over the summer, and he's become really strong. But look at the ability to bring that catch in. He got a lot of work over the summer. And again, doing a nice job of staying in bounds and bringing the pass in. Nice gain. A little hand fighting before he was able to get separation, but no call. First down to the 38-yard line. He was the main target for the Cardinals on offense last week against... 
Osseo, Kaijan Cummings, Coleman in the deep back, now splits out to the left. Maddox fakes a little toss to him and then keeps it himself. Gets down to the 35-yard line, a gain of three. Oh, and that's the dimension we talked about with Maddox is, is he's able to, uh, he likes to run. He, he, he likes to run. He looks for that contact. You know, I thought when, when Hetwer was in there, did a nice job. And the nice, the luxury for this team, they've got a couple of really good quarterbacks. And in talking with Coach Russin over the summer, at least, said those two are each other's biggest supporters. They understand it's a competition. Handoff goes to Kaijan, spins off first contact, but a lot of blue jerseys there, a short gain. It'll be third down. Yeah, third, third and long. That's Evan Becker's third tackle. Already. Already. It's only been three plays from scrimmage. <laughs> So third down and five from the 33. Maddock has some time. Throw goes long, look into the end zone. Kaija oh. goes up and gets it. Wow. Touchdown Cardinals. Wow. Reached back over the defender. Caught it and came down in bounds, and the I, I, Cardinals are on the board. Uh, he was so well covered. I don't know how he came down with that, but we've seen him make catches like that time after time. And C squared with a really nice adjustment to the ball and just out fighting the defender to make the catch. And good, great protection. I mean, nice job of Scheller to pick up the, the blitz. Pretty catch. Jackson Young to attempt the extra point. It's up, it's through. It's a 7 0 lead for the Cardinals. Well, I think that's what Coach Russell wanted to do. He wanted the opportunity to take that first drive and put points on the board, and he certainly did that. See it. And look at the protection again. An opportunity to throw it to that corner. Just does such a, he's so athletic. Just a beautiful catch. I mean, that's every game, Joe, he's, he has a highlight or, or, or one or two or three every single game. And you mentioned it. He didn't get a lot of action last week, but he took the opening kickoff 98 yards. To, to well, and he had two interceptions, he had two, one well, in I'm the talking end zone. Offensively, yeah, absolutely. Two interceptions. He can't discount that at all. That's a, that's a great, great night for that young man. Five plays, 65 yards, 219 off the clock. Good boot from Young. Be taken from the 10. Running right is Saltamacchio. Finds the gap and breaks a big return into Cardinal territory. St. Michael Albertville is going to look to answer starting on the opponent's side of the field. Well, that's exactly what they needed to answer to that uh, beautiful drive by Coon Rapids is, is a nice return on special teams. And, and I talked to Coach uh, Esler on special teams and we, we need to do a better job. And uh, I think he's really happy with that return right there. A couple of broken tackles to stretch it even further. Start first and 10 from the Coon Rapids 43. Will Bartle in the shotgun. Man Grabo in the backfield with him. Two receivers left. One man in the slot on the right. Bartle will roll left. Wants to throw. Throws on the run. Incomplete. Looking for Owen Eggie. So it'll be second and ten. Good job, Pete. Good job, Pete. 
Now a couple of guys in the backfield with Bartle on second down out of the shotgun. Handoff coming right up the middle. Gain of about three for Ryan Cadilla. And we talked about it, Joe, and they're, they're going to want to establish the run. And, you know, they, they did attempt to pass, but unfortunately for them, they weren't able to complete it. But in the majority of their, their offensive game plan, they're going to try and, and run it some form. So it'll be third and five from the 38. Kadia again, up the middle. A nice gain, should have a first down. That was, he was hit hard, too, at the end of that play. Even five got six, but there you see the big hole for yeah, him. Really good job by the offensive line up front just to open that, that ability for him to get through. And you can move pretty efficiently if you don't get touched until you're five yards downfield. Absolutely. Fumble. Fumble as he went to give it to Grabo on the, the first Cardinals side. Cardinals on top of it, Jared Fearing. In his belly. And that is a, a huge miscue wow. for the home team early on. After that nice return on the kick, and they're trying to get some momentum going forward, he just didn't get a clean handoff. And he just could not fall out it. And Fearing doing a great job of realizing where that football was. We'll see a better angle of it here. He loses it, tries to fall on it, and it bounces out from under him, fearing he's able to pick it up. So the Cardinals will come back out onto the field with a 7-0 lead. Ball at the 33-yard line. Cummings Coleman, the receiver wide right at the bottom of your screen. Handoff goes to Scheller, finds some room off the left side and breaks free. Down the sideline, still going, knocked out as he nears the 20-yard line of STMA and a late flag on the field as well. Hit. I think it's a late hit. He's, uh, he seems to be okay. You and I were talking before the game that the, the uh, Cardinals really need to develop a running game to go with their passing game. Beautiful run there by Danny Scheller. Well, and again, great blocking in front of him. All Danny had to do was find the hole and run through it. Personal foul. Late hit out of bounds on blue. 15-yard penalty. First down. We'll see it again. Just a really nice job. Look at the blocking at the point of attack, and then it gets an opportunity. They sealed off that edge. And Danny Scheller's got some speed to him. He's going to try and outrun the defense. But there, he was uh, clearly out of bounds when he was hit, I believe. So put it, put the ball at the 16-yard line of St. Michael Albertville. Flip goes to Cummings Coleman, cuts back in the middle, finds some room, spins off first contact, and is down to the 10 yard line, a gain of six. I, give a, I want to give a big shout out to my buddy Mike Shuno, watches every week because he loves to listen to Joe. He told me that, my former co worker and a really, really great guy. I miss him when I don't get a chance to see him anymore, but nonetheless, he follows us and he's a huge fan. <laughs> Cardinals now with a second and four from the St. Michael 10-yard line. Cummings Coleman again wide to the right. Fearing shifts from left to right. Handoff goes to Scheller looking for room in the middle. Blows his way down to about the two-yard line. It'll be a first and goal. Yeah, again, just a nice job continuing this drive. Nice run by Scheller, aided by a late hit out of bounds. Cardinals are looking to go up by two. Oh, it was like a 34, 36, 36 yard they said, yeah. run before that hit. Yep. That's how you start a drive, especially after a turnover. You always want to take advantage. Hand off to Scheller, trying to let him finish 
the drive he's had so much to do with, but uh, he's pushed back for a loss of a yard, second and goal. Let's see if they call Maddox's number. Tried to gain around the edge. Good job by, by the defense to keep him contained. And off Scheller, touchdown Cardinals. Oh, that's just a great job by the big guys up front, just opening up that hole for Scheller, virtually untouched, as he's able to cross the stripe and give the Cardinals uh, their second score of this first quarter. And there's 6.22 remaining in it. Jackson Young on to attempt the extra point. Not quite midway through this first quarter. Cardinals up a pair of scores. That one is through, no problem. It's 14 0 visitors. And now, if you're Coon Rapids, do you consider not? Kicking to uh, Saltamacchio. Maybe not. Because he found that hole quick and got them into great field position. You know, Daddy Shell, we, we, we don't always touch on the fact that he's just a sophomore. First varsity score. Correct? Am I right? Yeah. I believe that's yep. correct. Yep. Bergen is the other deep man back there with Saltamacchio. Five plays, 67 yards. Took 201 off the clock. Scheller with a four yard touchdown run. Well, and he had four of the five plays went to him. His kick is going to be taken at about the 12 by Bergen. He finds some room on the right side. A special teams unit of St. Michael Albertville doing a nice job of getting their wedge, opening a hole, allowing for good returns and pretty decent field position. Well, and, that, and that's what uh, Coach Essler talked about is that you know on special teams we have to make a we have to make a difference tonight. And now they're in a hole. Granted, it's it's early in this contest, but they're in a two-score hole. Well, and again, a, a team that is not made to throw a lot nope. if the gap gets much wider will find themselves in a must pass situation and off Kadia he's able to break free gets a first down and more he's spun down right at the Coon Rapids 40 yard line after a 20 yard gain oh, he's shifty Again, Kadia with a really nice run here, and they're and they're uh, they're hurrying up here on offense. They're trying to catch the defense off guard, tire them out a little bit, especially after a long run. They'll continue to pound the ball, I would assume. Bartle on the keeper goes straight up the middle, a gain of about four. And they're keeping that. Pace going, hurrying it up. And they got the Cardinals to jump. And the Cardinals are susceptible to the run. They, they've they had have, trouble they, they've been stopping gashed. the run Five on week penalty, one. Both second down. But even last week against Osseo, Osseo had a fair amount of rushing yards against them as well. They did, but not like Centennial. Centennial really ran yeah. the ball against them. 340 yards. Yeah. So second and six becomes second and one from the Coon Rapids 31. Play action, Bartle in trouble. 
And hit hard. Ball comes out. Cardinals on top of it again. Jared Fearing, first one there. And the Cardinals have forced another turnover. Yeah, and that's on that's on Bartle. He should have eaten that. He was in the grasp. He should have held on to that ball. He tried to get rid of it and uh, and took the worst for it because he's come limping off that field. That's a, that's a play where he just needs to uh, take the loss. It almost the down. exact same spot they lost the last fumble. You're going to see him here. He's going to get in the grasp. Oh, yeah. That's, again, it's just so difficult. You're, you're getting hit. It's hard to hold on to that ball. But he knew he was coming down. You could see him cock his arm and try and see if he could get rid of it. But uh, there was uh, too many defenders there in his way, and Cardinals are going to take possession. 5-11 remaining first quarter. Cardinals up 14-0. Have the ball from their own 38-yard line. Play action. That's a broken play. Maddock trying to get out of it. Stiff arm. Voids one, but then tackled out of bounds for about a three-yard loss. Yeah, and that's what Maddock probably should have, when he had that on the outside, just should have tossed it. He was out well out of the pocket. So that puts him back at the 35. Well, in fairness to Jacob, maybe his linemen were downfield, so he realized he could not throw the ball. But on the two fumbles, one was, line of scrimmage was the Coon Rapids 32, and the second one, the Coon Rapids 31. Maddock steps up, bumped, now looking to run. They swarm to him and take him down after about a five-yard gain. It's going to be third and long. Should be third and about eight yep. from the 40. Maddock on third down, rolling to his right, pressure coming, throws on the run, picked off. And the Saints take it right back. Jacob Dinius getting in front of the intended receiver, Fearing. Well, they, uh, they were able to turn the ball over there, and, and unfortunately for Coon Rapids, I think Maddock, you know, Maddock hasn't obviously played a lot so far this year, tried to force that pass in. There was a defender right there, and you saw Dinius able to pick it off. He threw it right in front of Fearing. So the Saints get it back only 12 yards away from where they were before the fumble. Handoff, Kedia tripped up as he gets to the 40, gain of three. And this is, I mean, St. Michael still in this game, obviously, yes. just two scores down. Oh, absolutely. But, but they need to be able to punch it in and take advantage of the turnover. Yeah, they need some momentum. So far, all the momentum has been on the Coon Rapids side here early on, except for that uh, that turnover there. And off Kedia again. Gets behind his blockers, gets a first down close to the 30-yard line. We have a player slow to get up on, on the St. Like Michael uh, Elmofield side. He will not be getting up. Nope. They're out to take a look at him and certainly hope nothing too serious. It's Tyler Hill, one of those offensive linemen that we, we talked about. KD, a, a good start running the ball in this game, but it's really the credit, a lot of the credit has to go to the big guys up front because he hasn't had a hand on him. Uh, until he's five yards, six yards downfield. Able to get up and walk off on his own power. That's, and that's good definitely to see. a good sign. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. 
Fresh set of downs for STMA. First and 10 from the Cardinal 31. This is as far downfield as they have had the ball. Here in this first quarter, trailing 14-0. Cardinal taking his time. Rolling right, wants to throw and does on the run, incomplete. Well over the head of intended receiver Judah Robley. You know, Robley too got behind the defense. He just, uh, the pass wasn't on him. Oh, I'm sorry, it was uh, Owen Eggie. Yeah, Egg Eggie getting behind the defense again. We talked about not, uh, not an opportunity to hit him on the run. So second and 10 from the 31. Hand off, Kadia. Another nice gain down to the 27, a gain of four. Set up third down. And clearly four down territory, oh, yes, but for sure. not a bad down and distance for the Cardinal. Defense to get them in. You saw defensive coordinator Zach Neenaber for the Cardinals. Oh, and that's going to back, back him up five. Dead ball. Dead ball. False, False start. start. Offense. Oh, yeah. 76. Five yard penalty. Third down. And that's a, a tough penalty to take for St. Michael Albertville. Yeah, absolutely. Now puts him in third and 11. And even better down in distance for Coach Nee Neighbors, Coon Rapids defense. Bartle has three receivers on the right side. Running back Grabo is on that side as well. Fakes the pitch, keeps it himself straight up the middle, breaks a tackle. Flag comes in late. That could be a hold. That he's going to be very. He's going to be just short of a first down. We'll see what the flag is. It was Cummings Coleman that came over and. Finally able to, to stop the momentum of Will Bartle. Five-yard Five yard face, face mask on the defense. That's unfortunate. First and down. Add five, so a first down. Putting the ball to the 18-yard line. It's a 17-yard line on the scoreboard. We'll go with them. Bartle again with those three receivers on the right side, one to the left. Bartle looking to his left, now over the middle, now wants to run, finds a seam, gets out of the backfield. Dolgroski tracks him down and takes him to the turf at about the 13-yard line after a gain of about four. That's a really nice open field tackle by Lofton Ogroski. We're going to see him come into your picture. And look at him track him down. He's an elusive quarterback. He can, we talked about he can run, but just a great job of wrapping him up, grabbing him around the ankles and spinning him to the ground. Second and six from the Cardinal 13. Hand off, Kedia. And that hole closed quickly, not a lot there, maybe a yard, it'll be third down. And that time the, uh, the defensive front for Coon Rapids did a really nice job of sealing the hole. It's Peterson on the tackle. Third 
Into the final minute of this first quarter, St. Michael Albertville looking for its first score. It's third and five from the Coon Rapids 12. Under center is Bartle. High formation behind him. Pitch goes to Kedia, running left, cuts back. Able to dive forward and should have enough for yeah, a first does. down. It'll be first and goal from the six. It looked initially like the Cardinals had good pursuit. I thought so. Edge sealed, but uh, Kedia able to find a hole, get up for the first and goal, and that's a timeout. Now they bring in the big package. I formation again in the backfield, motion from left to right. Handoff goes to Grabo, tries to bounce outside. Ogroski drags him down at the five, a gain of a yard. That'll do it, that'll do it Joe. Take us to the end of the first quarter. Coon Rapids up 14, but St. Michael Albertville is knocking more high school football after this on CTF. Coon Rapids Cardinals with touchdowns from Kaijan Cummings Coleman and Danny Scheller have a 14 0 lead. Often Ogroski led them in receiving last year, he, or last week. He may be leading them in tackles this week. He's <laughs> been around the ball a he lot, has. playing on defense as well. Kaijan out there also. He had a nice day defensively last week, a couple did. of interceptions. He certainly did. But here we are with a second and goal from the five. Bartle fakes the give to Grabo, wants to throw, looking, and now just throws it away. It'll be third and goal. Yeah, good coverage in the end zone by the Cardinals, and then good pursuit defensively down the line for Coon Rapids as well. Really not giving him an opportunity to gain the edge and find an open receiver. Uh, making the wise move, just throwing it away. There's head coach Jared Esler. Pass left side, big hit from Kaijan, pops that wow. ball loose. Incomplete fourth down. Obviously you go for it in this situation. At least I believe they will. Oh, maybe they're gonna kick a field goal. And I mean, Jordan Holm and that's a big still would have been short of the goal yes, line. Yes, he would have, but would have been but, a little closer. Uh, I think he thought it, that was gonna be an easy catch instead. He got popped. He got hit hard. Zach Marble out to attempt a 22-yard field goal attempt from the right hash. It's up, it's good, and St. Michael Albertville is on the board. Well, that's a that's a win for the defense. You keep him out of the end zone, and limit him to three. Now, if you have the opportunity on offense to see if you can get another score, all of a sudden you build that lead up. 
Well, and for St. Michael Albertville, they needed to get some sort of rhythm. Agreed. They needed to get something out of that drive. Agreed. So, and if you've got a field goal kicker who can put it through, it's a little chip shot, 22-yarder. Uh, hey, uh, absolutely. It means you capitalized on the turnover and you got your points on the board. And now hope your defense can go out and try and get another takeaway. Still just seconds into this second quarter. Kick this one long enough that Kaijan's going to pick it up at the 15. Looking to run all the way around the right side, then up, finds some room across the 40, spins his way to the 45 yard line. 30-yard return for Kai John Cummings Coleman. And again, it's always dangerous to give him the ball, and he, return, he rewards the, the Cardinals with a nice return. Well, and they're, they're really kind of lucky he didn't judge it better and come up yeah. under it when it was on the run. Uh, or, you know, it, it kind of took a couple of hops on the ground, but. Well, and it's all about angles, and Coach uh, Esler said, we, gotta, we have to take good angles on him, and we have to wrap him up when we have the ability to do that. It's easy to say. Yeah, real easy to say. He's so elusive. Maddock out of the shotgun, fearing shifts from right to left. Play action, pass dropped by Harold Berry. It was right in the breadbasket. Yeah, and he had a little room to run upfield. Harold uh, definitely would like would like that back. He, he was uh, thinking about gaining some extra yards, but got to look that ball in. So it'll be second and 10 from their own 45 yard line. Maddock steps up, scrambles to his right. Now throws on the run, complete to Cummings. Coleman makes a man miss, cuts up field, has some room, tripped up, still going. Touchdown Cardinals. <laughs> wow. I mean, again, some missed tackles, but it's so difficult to bring him down. You said, oh, yeah, take the angle. That's uh, easier said than done. And the defense showed that it uh, was not easy to bring him down. Well, and, and I thought they had him tripped up I right thought there so as at, well. the, at about the 20. Maddox just in desperation mode and finds Cummings. Coleman coming back to the ball, makes that man miss. And then it's a foot race, and that nearly you, tripped yep. him up. But he keeps on going. Saltamakia not there in time. Jackson Young on to attempt the extra point. It is up, it is good, and it is 21 to three. Nice that job. was quick. That was a nice job by Ogroski to put that on the, on the ground. The, the ball was a little high and, and uh, to his right, and he was able to bring it down and make sure that Young got the opportunity to get a good kickoff. Uh, that was pretty. That was special. A two-play drive. 44 yards of carry. I mean, a uh, catch. That's not bad. Again, look. Yeah, and both touchdowns. Yeah, yeah exactly. But I don't know that they've targeted him in any other times. Have an energy drink. You deserve a young man. Or bar. Or Get those electrolytes. Pickle juice. It's, I was just going to say. Pickle juice. It doesn't look like pickle juice. It should be. one taking it about the 16 kind of juggled it yeah. I mean the knee was down but apparently didn't have possession that was Caden Johnson on the return 
and gets him back to decent field position out to the 23 yard line, 28 yard line even, 27. It's one of those yard lines. <laughs> right in there. Somewhere between the 20 and the 30. Still plenty of time, 11-18 to go in the second quarter. It's now a 21 to three Coon Rapids lead. Bartle out of the shotgun, has a couple of friends in the backfield with him. He's gonna hand it off to Kadia. He has a big hole, makes a man miss, has a first down out across the 40 to the 42 yard line. Well, you touched it, Joe. The uh, the caveat for this Coon Rapids defense has been against the run. And uh, you're, you're seeing some success here. From a little bit of success from that young man right there. 15 yards on the carry, first down at the 42 now. And I guess that doesn't put that much pressure on you to throw the ball if you're gonna pick up big chunks on the ground. Play action this time. Pass is broken up. Intended for Jordan Holm along the sidelines. Aloysius Nippon on the defense. So second and 10. Handoff goes to Kadia. Finds a seam again as another first down into Cardinal territory. Again, you know, he, I called him shifty earlier, and he really is. Uh, he's got some really nice moves, and he's able to get good field vision, able to find that hole. And we talked about they like that's their game is running the football. He's got two carries on this drive for 27 yards. High formation in the backfield this time. Kadia again. This time slowed as he gets through the line. He'll gain about three. And you can see defensively for Coon Rapids, they're, they're, they're putting players in and out between plays, trying to keep guys fresh. You know, a lot of the guys play, especially up front and then in the defensive backfield both ways. Bartle under center. High formation again. Hand off to the deep back. Oh. This time it is Devon Demmer, and he is destroyed in the backfield. That was Cam Ross, I think, on the tackle. I mean, just a beautiful tackle. He was tackled by Cam Ross. I mean, he made sure he brought him down for a loss. Nice oh, sorry, job, Cam. Tanner Becker. So now you're third and 11. And if you're the defense for Coon Rapids, you, you want to, I think they'll bring a little pressure here. Because we talked about, they like to run, but they're not a, a typical passing team. Well, they're going to spread them out on third and long. Four receivers, Bartle out of the shotgun, two on each side. Straight drop, looking over the middle, that pass tipped and picked off. Back the other way goes Japri Palmer and a nice return deep into St. Michael territory. I think it was tipped to Palmer. Yeah, it was originally tipped by Cam Ross. Yeah, Cam Ross coming up with uh, two really nice plays in a row, made the nice tackle for loss, and then getting the tip on the ball, and Palmer with uh, Johnny on the spot right there to pick the ball off, and all of a sudden the Cardinals offense back on the squad, on the on the field, and it's, a, it's an unfortunate turnover there. Yeah, that was, a, that was a great play to make good concentration to make sure you brought the ball in. Hey, bobbled it a little bit, but able to bring it into control and then get a good return to the Knights 38-yard line. So a 21-3 lead. And the Cardinals return to the field in plus territory. Handoff goes to Scheller. Trying to bounce it off tackle, not a lot there. He's down to the 36, a gain of two. There's Dupree. Dupree with the interception. Gain of one. 
A lot of celebrations, a lot of smiles on the visiting sideline so far in this first half. Second takeaway for the defense. Or third takeaway for the defense. Yep. Don't let me, don't let me don't, slide don't short, don't short, short him. Don't chart him. Two fumbles and now the interception. Maddock with time now steps up. He's going to run with it. Sidestepping the pressure and eventually just kind of falls forward back to the line of scrimmage. It'll be third down. I'm a little surprised this just didn't continue running. I thought he was going to. Yeah, and then he was trying to find a receiver, but... But then he's shifted to the side, yep. keeping himself behind the line of scrimmage in case he could throw downfield. And I think maybe his coaches are saying that. You have the opportunity to run. Just He's a running quarterback. Just, just take it. Just make sure you secure the ball. Well, absolutely. That's, that's paramount. Time running down on the play clock. There will be a timeout here from the Cardinals with 7.31 to go. In the second quarter, they're up big and threatening to add to it. Yeah, and this is a, you know, a situation for Coach Rustin and his squad to, to really expand this lead. Already up 21-3. Do you think the deliver brought work to the, to the booth? Because I'll put it in order. I'll, I'll even treat you to one. Hey, we'll bring it to the booth. I don't know, great crowd here. Yeah, As huge. we talked about, it, you know, this game dedicated uh, to a former St. Michael Albertville football player, 2018 graduate Jake Walleen, yeah, tragic. who served our country overseas and had joined the Fargo Police Department and was tragically killed in the line of duty over this summer and so an emotional night uh, they did a special thing before a kickoff and, and they had a video from him uh, at, at one point talking about why he became a police officer and you know, it was very touching and, and very nice tribute to to, the, to him, and it's an unfortunate, unfortunate situation what happened. Well, and a number of our military members here tonight, National Guard, and uh, large contingency from the Sheriff's Department as well. Yep. So the Cardinals on third down. Maddock steps up, chased, and will fall forward to the 28-yard line or the 33-yard line, excuse me, it'll be fourth down. We had a little bit of uh, room to run, but Drew Luster uh, making a nice job of bringing him down. So be fourth and five. They put they said fourth and six, six. but uh, it certainly looks like five by my math. That's Lester's fifth tackle. Got to get to the 28-yard line. They're at the 33, fourth down. Maddock rolling to his left, throws on the run. That pass is caught by Ogroski. First down, Cardinals at the 25. Yeah, again, works. Uh, that play worked because it was good protection. allowed him to roll to his left. And Ogroski's there. There wasn't a defender on him. All he had to do was put it on him. And uh, Lofton was smart enough, obviously, to get past that marker and uh, keep the chains moving into a fresh set of downs. You know, a lot of the fanfare goes to uh, Kaijan Cummings Coleman, and rightly so. But uh, that young man, number seven, is one heck of a receiver and one and one gritty guy and good good defender, and he's a, a very a very integral part of this team. Hand off, Danny Scheller, right up the middle, keeps his legs moving and forces forward for a gain of two. Well, the Cardinals will love to continue to, to keep the ball on the ground a little bit and let this clock run. Yeah, they don't, they don't have any problem nope. taking time off the clock. There you see the time remaining in the first half, 545.
Cummings, Coleman, and Ogroski stacked on the right side. Maddock rolling that way, looks to throw. Passes short, incomplete. Looking for Ogroski. That's a tough, <laughs> tough formation to, to try and guard when you have their top two receivers stacked up together. Oh, and he had stepped out of bounds anyway, so even if he had caught it. So it'll be third and eight from the 23. In trouble and sacked for a huge loss. That's a gigantic play for the St. Michael defense. Yeah, that, I mean, they needed that too. They needed something good here. And now it's it's uh, fourth and very and a low. Whole bunch. But you really, I don't think. 10 yards on that play. You can't really, you can't pickle really juice. punt. Pickle juice. Oh, yeah, pickle juice for sure. So backed up to the 33 yard line. It'll be fourth and 18 from the 33. And your star receiver is on the sideline getting a cramp worked up. Well, unfortunately, you can't uh, plan for those kind of things to happen. And you got to play with who's on the field, but they've got some really good weapons. But the play, clock, the play clock was not running. Not sure what the delay or discussion is here. I guess there's an injury. And they're still working then. Cummings Coleman over on the far side. But that can't be why the, uh, the timeout was. I mean, I could see the Cardinals calling a timeout so that they didn't have to lose him for a play. But, doesn't, uh, but it looks like uh, the St. Michael trainer is jogging across the field to go see if he can assist with Cummings Coleman and cramps he's he's dealt with cramps yes you know every year uh, since his sophomore year when we first saw him and boy he he kind of exploded onto the scene he certainly did but it does appear that that's the injury huh. that they are are stopping the game for which it's interesting because he's well off the side to the side, obviously. But the clock stop with 4.05 to go. Cardinals facing a fourth and very long, leading 21 to 3. Really want to throw him off here, punt. <laughs> From the 33. According to uh, Bill Hupp, our sideline guy says uh, Kaijan's in some serious distress. And I hate to see that. And it's uh, I, I've I've had cramps before, and I'm you know almost the same kind of athlete that Kaijan. Yeah, is. back in the day close. maybe. <laughs> and they are not fun. They are not fun. Let's just hope he's okay. Well, get him, get him the the water bottle that is actually full of pickle juice. I, I'm telling you, and a banana. And a banana, banana is good. Pickle juice is uh, is really important. 
Still don't understand that. But I, I've read, I did my research yeah. after you were such a huge proponent of it. Um, and yes, it, it does say that uh, there's something about pickle juice that does help alleviate or prevent cramps from See, my, occurring. My, my great great grandfather was a doctor in the old country, and so I just kind <laughs> of get these things. We found a trunk somewhere, and, and it was tough to read, but it's a pickle, pickle juice. Pickle juice. Pickle juice. For cramps. For cramps. Oh, that's good. Up and walking, at least. And that's the important thing that uh, he's able to do, and just hope he's okay. So, what do you have in your playbook, Pooch Kick, for fourth and 18 from the 33 when your top receiver's on the sideline? Maddock with time. Throws it short to Scheller, looking for a block, trying to make somebody miss. He's dragged down well short of the first down. But, you know, that's okay. It gives him a little shorter field, or get a longer field. Still plenty of time for. Say Michael Alberville to try and get something done, trailing 21 to 3 with 410 remaining in the half. So Saints will take over from their own 23 yard line, as you mentioned, a little more than four minutes remaining. Clock was originally stopped during that timeout at 405, but they obviously adjusted. Handoff, Kidia. Up the middle, spun down after a gain of about seven. And again, he gets up field quickly. Yeah, too. He, he really does, and they'll continue to feed him. Ball at the 31, so second and two. Could he, no, keeping it is Bartle, Bartle and he was. Hit in the backfield and lost a yard. And the clock continues to run. Samson, Samson LeClaire on the tackle for the Cardinals. So third and three. Handoff, Kedia hit and dropped right at the line of scrimmage. It'll be fourth down. And they will punt the ball in. Good job by the defense. Oh, maybe not. I thought they were going to punt, but are they going to go for it, Joe? Looks like they're leaving the offense out there. Well, you know, they're so confident in their running game. We'll see what they what they do here. Cardinals call timeout. And yeah. yeah, probably a good one. Well, you definitely want to stop the run in this situation, but you can't completely sell out and end up leaving yourself vulnerable over the top. You cannot. Football team returns home next Friday to take on the Champlain Park Rebels. We will be there, of course, but first, we'll get to see the volleyball team and new head coach, Talana Rizidis, as they welcome, or they're on the road to take on the Andover Huskies Road on game. Monday. And we'll see them again the following Tuesday, the 26th, when they welcome the Panthers from Spring Lake Park. That's a really nice facility. Like the scoreboard. So fourth and three from their own 30-yard line. The Knights trailing the Cardinals by a 21 to 3 score here late in the second quarter. Bartle under center. Fakes the give. Wanted to throw back to Kedia. Now it has to find somewhere to go with it. Instead, he is sacked. And the Cardinals will take over on downs at the St. Michael 22-yard line. Yeah, that's a disastrous play. Kenny Wells getting there to take him down. Yeah, you got plenty of time left, 237 to put another score on the board, and you're, you're way down in uh, night territory. Again, just could not, great job of coverage downfield, could not find well, any opportunity. 
they, he was just watching Kadia. He wanted Kadia to get free out of the backfield off of the play action. But that didn't happen, and nope. then he ran out of time and ended up losing eight yards on the sack. Cardinals take over from the St. Michael 22, looking to add to their already large lead. Blitz coming, and they get to Maddox quickly and drop him for a loss. That's Lester's seventh tackle. I think he had nine uh, on the season, I believe. So he's having a nice night. We're not even to the half yet. No, he had 19 coming in. My bad. Okay, so still above average. Still, still, that's yeah, that's still pretty, that's nine still and pretty half, good. Nine and a half per game yep. through the first two weeks. Maddock rolling to his right on second down. Now in trouble running backwards and losing a ton of yardage. Saltamacchio tracks him down at the 40. And that's a loss. Of, they're going to mark him at the 39. But still, that's a loss of 16 yards. Yeah, and he had to make sure he held on to the football, too. Took a hard hit at the end of that play. So it'll be third and 27 from the 39. Now they'll just, uh... well, did they call a timeout? I think St. Michael did. Yeah, but the clock on the scoring board is still that, running. That's the timeout. Oh, that's time. their timeout. Okay, my bad. Didn't realize it. See, I told you I like the scoreboard here. It's like... So, it's so uh, it's so good. I don't even know what's going on. Yes, that's the time remaining. I got in it their now. Timeout. I got it now. I figured it out. Thank you. <laughs> when you were told. I took notes. What's that? I'm a dolt. <laughs> when you were told. Oh, when I was told. Now I figured it out. Well, now I've got it. We have to always. If you learn something, you always have to be told first. And that's then what you they learn. Say. One forty remains in this second quarter. And the Cardinals, after taking over on downs at the 22, are in a position where they might actually punt this football. Well, it's, it's possible. Minute 40 remaining in the half. Not Third and 27. Seconds. Maddox sets up the screen to Scheller right side. And he stopped after a very short game. Yeah, they're going to put him right back at the line of yeah. scrimmage. So fourth and 27. And the Knights will take another timeout, trying to preserve as much time as they can before the half. Oh, well, why not? Under a minute. I think the Cardinals are going to send out the punt unit. Yeah, well, that uh, that drive did, uh, didn't go the way they wanted to. It's really the way they drew it up. things going here. So like Logan Ness on the punt standing just on his side of midfield. Turn man is Caden Johnson standing at his own 10 yard line. Ness gets a good way, a too good a boot. That'll be in the end yeah. zone and a touchback. So 
So St. Michael Alberville has one chance left before the break. 127 to go. Plenty of time. In this first half. But again, they're not a passing team. And well, and no timeouts. And no timeouts, correct. So you're really gonna have to you're gonna have to work the sideline. Or just run run the clock out and go to the half, trailing 21 to 3. Bartle out of the shotgun on first and ten. Throws left, pass is complete, a flag is out. Short gain to Tevin Vonksen. Bartle's pass is complete to Tevin Vonksen. There is a penalty on the play. Holding, Holding. Defense. defense, number three. Ten-yard penalty. First down. Called holding on the defense. That's going to march him back ten yards. March him forward ten yards. They get that plus the six yards. That's tacked on to the end yeah. of the six yard reception. So first and 10 at the 36. Handoff goes to Kedia and he's swallowed up immediately a gain of a yard. And as you mentioned, no timeouts. They can't stop that clock at this point. They might have one and I can't see on there. Well, they're not calling it at the score. So second and nine. Well, you got to keep that one in your pocket. Pass quickly to the sideline. Jordan Holm taps the toes out of bounds, but it'll be third down. Not, not, uh, not a lot of yardage, as you mentioned, third down, but does stop the clock. Bartle throws left, pass is complete. Holm into Coon Rapids territory, first down to the 47. Nebraska on the tackle for the Cardinals, but just a quick little throw to move the sticks. Bartle pitches it. Cutting it up field is Graybo. He's got a nice run, and he'll have another first down to the 35. And a quick spike to stop the clock. Thirty-six seconds remaining. Again, you know. On that last play, just some missed tackles allowed him to gain that extra yardage. Bartle with three receivers on his left, out of the shotgun on second down. Little pump, pulls it down, now throws that pass complete. Vognison is going to be just short of a first down. They call their last time out. Yeah, they had to at that point. How's the uh, leg on your field goal, Jacob? Well, you hit that last one with plenty to spare, but I mean, at this point you're looking at a 44 yeah, a yarder, 45. Be third and two.
So a missed opportunity for the Cardinals after taking over on downs. But uh, they definitely want to hold here on defense and not. Yeah, absolutely. Because that's a that's a double burn. Yep. After taking over at your opponent's 22 with only three minutes. So uh, Harley is telling us they've only attempted one field goal this year. Before the before, before tonight. Before tonight, correct. He was good, but that was from 22 yards. This is considerably more difficult. Uh, yeah, ab absolutely. Twenty-four seconds, so options are limited. Kedia's okay, coming to the sideline, but you knew they weren't going to run. Correct. Although the clock does stop to move the chains. Bartle drops back, pumps, now throws, wants to go long down the left side. That pass incomplete. Jordan Holm covered step for step by Aloysius Nippon. Took about five seconds off the clock. They have it as third down, but it is actually fourth down. And why does it? They spiked it. Why did they not lose the down for the spike? They should have. Because it says third down on the field as well. Throw over the middle, pass is complete. Now they're going to have to spike it again. Aggie has the first down. To the 11 or 12. Quick spike. So now a great spot for St. Michael, really. With 10 seconds, you can take probably two shots at the yep. end zone. Ball at the 11. High snap, Bartle brings it down. Thinks about throwing, now rolls out, throws over the middle. That pass is broken up, nearly intercepted. Lofton Ograski getting a hand on the ball. Yeah, plus that took a lot of time. They're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna kick a field ball. Really, the Cardinals shouldn't be giving up any points in this drive because they had the, such great field position. But uh, if they, again, they come away with it's just a field goal, that, that's, again, a win for the defense. This one will be from 28 yards. So a little further. Kick is up, and wow. it is no good. And that will take us to the end of the first half. Coon Rapids in control, 21 to three, but St. Michael Albertville still hanging on. And as you're headed into the locker room, you gotta feel good if you're the visiting team, but you can't feel too confident because you know that you missed some opportunities and left some points on the field. You did, but you've gotta feel good uh, that coming off the field, scoring 21 points in the first half, that has to, on the road, has to make you feel good as well. But I'm sure Coach Russin would say there's some things we need to adjust. All right, Howie, take a look. Our opponents are on this side, and the Cardinals are over here. Where's the line of scrimmage? Uh, right here. Good. So obviously the Cards want to get the ball downfield anywhere over here, and the other guys are pushing back this way over here. So one strategy would take... Hey, Joe! What? Tic-tac-toe, I win! <sighs> <laughs> Back at St. Michael Albertville High School halftime score, Coon Rapids 21, ninth three. Joe Young, Howie Shapiro up above, and you know, Cardinals have pretty much done what they've wanted to 
couple of things that, that could have gone better. Uh, didn't capitalize on one turnover by turning it back over um, and then didn't take over, uh, you know, take advantage of great field position after a turnover on downs. Uh, but outside of that, 21 to three, it's hard to feel bad. You have to feel pretty good about that. You're putting points on the board. I think your defense is, you know, bending a little bit, but playing really well. Obviously just the three points allowed so far. For, for the defense. So, you know, I think coming out in the second half, we'll see a lot of the same, and I think we'll try and continue to move the ball offensively. Well, Kaijan Cummings Coleman uh, has factored in. He had a nice kick return, and then uh, he's had two catches, both for touchdowns. This one just impressive as he reaches over the defender and grabs it behind the defender's helmet, get, gets his feet down for the touchdown. And then uh, defense forcing some turnovers. A couple of fumbles, both recovered by Jared Fearing. Great run by Danny Scheller. And that set up a Danny Scheller rushing touchdown, the first of the season for the sophomore running back. Yeah, good to see him get in the end zone. And then Maddock pressured, scrambling, throws. And watch what Kaijan does. Makes one man miss, avoids another one, and then just outruns everyone strong on his feet and gets to the end zone for his second touchdown of the evening. His team comfortably ahead, 21 to three. They will have to kick. Uh, so St. Michael will get the ball to start the second half, but you know, numbers are relatively even, just uh, lopsided in terms of rushing versus receiving. 178 total yards for the Cardinals, 156 for St. Michael Elbertville. Uh, four just penalties. four first downs for the Cardinals. Yeah, that's crazy. 10, 10 for the uh, for the Knights, but uh, turnovers. That's Turnover a big, battle that's is huge. huge. Yeah, three turnovers by by the home team. And so Coon Rapids looking to get to two and one on the season. The Knights still looking for their first win of the year. Sitting at 0-2, they'll get the ball when we kick off the second half after this on CTN. Want to know the who, what, when, and where of Coon Rapids? Then follow CTN on social media. It's that simple. Whether it's Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, keep up with local news, sports, and events. And the people who make our community such a great place to live. So give us a follow, like, share, or subscribe, and always be the first to know what's up in Coon Rapids. That's CTN, helping you stay connected. Just about ready to kick off the second half. St. Michael Albertville, you know, again, still plenty of time. It's oh, yeah. still a game at 21 to three, but they really, this is kind of a critical drive. They need to put points on it, really need to get to the end zone in this drive. You know, and we talked about, it. they've been running the ball. They just haven't been able to throw the ball. When, and then this is a situation down 21 to three. They may find themselves in a situation to throw a little bit more than they're used to. We talked about Bartle, just five, a little over five uh, yards of completion on the season before this contest. Alex Bergen and Luca Saltamacchio, Saltamacchio are the deep backs. Team number four, that's Lewis Veda. Not entirely sure what we're waiting on, but the official took the ball away and is not giving it back to Jackson Young, the kicker, quite yet. This is my ball, and I'm going home. Number 45 for the Knights on the kickoff return team is Jaden Myers. All right, here we go. Jackson Young, also a member of the Coon Rapids soccer team. And of 
course, the son of former football head coach John Young. Yep. Squib kick will be scooped up at about the 22 yard line. This is Owen Eggy trying to find a way outside. And he's out across the 30 to the 31. Down on the sidelines is Bill Huff. Bill. I caught up with STMA head coach Jared Essler coming out of the locker room, and he talked about the fact that they need to keep Jacob Maddock in the pocket a little bit more and also do a better job of tackling defensively. He also spoke offensively about how they've had turnover issues all season long, and they need to protect the football. Thank you, Bill, and that's three turnovers in the first half. Certainly uh, was a factor. Kedia elusively slithering away from Cardinal players in the backfield, able to get up field for a five-yard gain. Yeah, just Mikroski's fifth tackle on the, after, or in the evening so far. Knights going up tem tempo, handed to K Kedia again. He's going to pick up three more. It'll be third and short. Yeah, again, they want to tire this defense out. They want to catch them off guard by getting to the line quickly like they did the play before. This time, they're, they're going to take their time, but see if they can spring a big one. High formation in the backfield. Handoff goes to Kedia. Bounces outside. Has a big gain into Cardinal territory and more. Stretching it out. Knocked out. Just shy of the 20-yard line. Yeah, he's uh, he's a very good running back. He, he came into the game averaging a little over seven yards a carry, and he's exceeded that here so far tonight. And again, just doing a really nice job of jumping to the outside. And he's got speed. Come to the sideline for a breather as his team has first and 10 from the 20. Gain of 42 yards on that carry. Handoff goes to Tanner Becker, and he's got a nice gain. Down to the 17. Well, you talked about it at the opening. That we, the Knights need something to happen here on this first drive. Well, and they've struggled at, with this part of the field. Yes. Two, two turnovers in Cardinal territory. And uh, held to a field goal and one missed field goal. Kedia hit in the backfield and stopped as he gets back to the line of scrimmage. It'll be third down. That's a good job by the defense just to, to make sure they followed him and put a hit on him and wrapped him up. See it again, just trying to work his way through. Third and seven from the 17. Bartle out of the pistol, high snap, hands it off. Kedia cuts back, looking for room in the middle. He's gonna gain a couple and be forced back. It'll be fourth and five. Uh, they, they want to come away with points here. They want and they want to score a touchdown. They don't want to. They want to settle for a field goal in this situation. Well, with the miss on the attempt to right at the end of the half by Marble from I think that was 28 yards. Here it would be about 32. They are going to keep the offense out there on fourth and a long five. Bartle. Fakes a pitch. Beautiful play. Little throw up the middle. Eggy avoids a tackle and is going to be down inside the five. That was a really nice play call on fourth and five. Really caught the defense off guard. Now fake that pitch to Padilla and then the little give to Eggy and he did the rest. Just got into the goal line. First and goal from the one.
handoff goes to Grabo. He's into the end zone. And a very successful drive to start the second half. Well, and they certainly needed it. They needed some momentum to try and shift to this side of the field. And, and they got it there. Again, you, you can't settle for a field goal in this situation. You're down 21-3. to three. You're in the second half, 8.27 remaining in the third. And you want to put points out. You want to, you want to cross the stripe, and that's exactly what they did. And they'll line up to go for two, three men in the backfield behind Bartle under center. Pitch goes to Kadia running right, cuts back, gets in. Again, a missed tackle allowed him to, to get to the strike. I thought they I thought they had him at first. So 21 to 11. There you're gonna see two-point conversion is successful. Did not exactly cross easily, but got the ball across the plane. That's all that matters. Well, now we'll see what the Cardinal offense can do to see if they can answer back. Now, now the defense for St. Michael Albertville will want to step up big here on this next drive offensively for the Cardinals. Well, and all of the Cardinals up, they know they're not going to kick it deep. So Kaijan is the deepest one standing at the 22-yard line. They boot it to the other side, fielded at the 30. And Scheller with a nice return into St. Michael territory as he's taken out of bounds just shy of the 45. Yeah, and the danger of that is you get a return like that and great field position for the Cardinals to start their first drive here in half number two. The offense has moved, but it is not seem to be really in rhythm no. much this evening. Start out of the pistol. Kaijan, the deep man. Pitch goes to him, running right. Trying to get behind his blockers, only able to get back to the line of scrimmage. May have even he, lost, he lost the yard. The yard. Yeah, good job that time by the defense of just stopping him up. I mean, they need to know, obviously, where number two is on the field every single play. But they're able to uh, stop him up and force him for a yard loss. Empty backfield this time. Scheller. Sweeps behind, fake the pitch. Maddock on the design quarterback keeper and barely able to get back to the line of scrimmage. Escorted out of bounds by Jacob Dinius. Good, good job, good pursuit by the defense to run him wide. Forcing Red made the road there. trip. Red's always here. See, look at that, aren't you red? Yeah! So the second half is starting just the way the Knights wanted. They got a fast touchdown drive. And now their defense, even though they gave up a big return, their defense has held the third and very long, third and 11. Maddock looking long for Ogroski and overthrown incomplete. And the Cardinals will go three and out. That's exactly what the defense wanted them to do is three and out. Get your offense back on the field, an opportunity to climb back into this game, now only down by 10. Johnson and Miller are the deep backs.
Good high punt. Fair catch made by Noah Miller at the 17-yard line. Well, now you got to make some adjustments on defense, and you need to try again to stop this run. But a lot of confidence now for the Knights, Joe. They take the opening kickoff and score, get the two-point conversion, then they force the Cardinal offense to go three and out and get the ball back now. And the other thing we saw a lot, in, especially in the opener against Centennial, when the defense is forced to spend that much time on the field, it just makes it that much yep. harder for them to hold the line. Handoff, Kedia explodes ahead for a gain of about six. Yeah, I mean, he's, if he's really off six, seven yards at a time and able to break that one, he's uh, he's been the factor for them here in this contest. And a quick play getting back to the back line of scrimmage for the Knights. They call it gain of seven, ball at the 24, second and three. Quick pass, complete to Owen Eggy. That'll be enough for a first down. He was hit immediately, but moves the chains. Cummings Coleman on the tackle for Coon Rapids. And we have a Cardinal down on the field. Can't see who that is. Kula, I, I believe. Looks like he might have. Pickle juice for everyone. I'm telling you, I'm, I, I'm, if it's not in the Gatorade tanks next game, I'd be surprised. Just make sure you take the seeds out. It's very important to strain that, strain that pickle juice. <laughs> I don't even know how to respond. How do you, how do you know so much about it? Pickle juice. I tell, I, I'm pickle telling juice. you, it's in my family. Pickle juice is in my family. My grandfather was in the grocery business. He was. He always put pickles on special uh, every every Tuesday. And why not? Yeah, well, pickles are special. They are. So after the injury timeout, first and 10 for St. Michael Albertville from their 30-yard line. They'll operate out of the pistol with two receivers wide to the right. Rolling that way is Bartle. He's going to throw as a man all alone behind the defense. And that one thrown short. Holm tried to come back to it, but... Yeah, he, he just... If he could have gotten the air, Holm was 20 yards oh, behind Oh, yeah, there was no one, no one there. That's a, that's a breakdown in coverage by the Cardinal defense. Fortunately, they dodged a bullet there. The pass couldn't, uh, couldn't reach. So second and 10. Bartle wants to throw again. Pass in and out of the hands of Jordan Holm on the right side. It'll be third down. Yeah, and that, that was a good pass. Just quick, quick little pass to Holm and just could not bring it in. That's an unfortunate situation. Now that puts him in third and long. The Cardinals looking to see if they can get a quick stop. Third down for the Knights. Bartle is going to keep it. He's going to get the first down. 
And he'll be slowed and stopped at the 45. A late flag coming in. That's going to tack on some extra yards. I think we're going to get another face mask call. Yeah, again, it's not being able to bring him down led to that first down. And then, as you mentioned, let's see what the call is. Personal foul, face mask on the defense. 15 yards, yeah, you just can't have that. first down. So they, he picked up 15 yards. He had another 15 yards for the penalty, and they're going to be set up first and 10 from the Coon Rapids 40. Oh, that, you know, that's fearing on there. Nonetheless, they can't, they, they can't do that. So it looked like the Cardinal defense might be able to force a three and out instead. St. Michael Alberville going long, wants Aggie incomplete. Step for step with him was Japri Palmer. Palmer had the interception earlier. No, it was an iPad. What was it? Yeah, it was Aloysius on the coverage. Number nine. 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 Second and ten in this offense that isn't really designed to pass has been doing a lot of it on this drive. This time they go to run and Kedia is stopped for no gain. Third down. That was nice, a nice play by Jacoby Peterson. That's his fifth tackle on the evening. And just a great job of just stuffing it inside and bringing him down for no gain. Puts him in a third and long situation. Another third and long for the Knights. Throw right side and a well-timed hit by Kaijan Cummings. Coleman made sure there was no chance for Hiltner to bring that one well, in. And, and you have to time that one well because you do not want to get contact before the ball arrives. And Kaijan doing a good job of laying the lumber just as that ball got to him. So on fourth and 10, first punt of the night for the Knights. Drew Luster standing at his own 45 yard line. Cardinals will not drop anyone back. Luster, good high punt, end over end. We'll take a bounce and roll to a stop at about the seven yard line. Great punt. And the Cardinals will start way back in their own end. 4.28 to play for uh, third quarter. So a long field for the Cardinals, Joe. And after a quick three and out, their last offensive play, they want to see if they can get something going. It says the ball's on the six, looks closer to the seven, but either way, Scheller on the carry, not a lot there. Maybe a yard. Yeah, good job by the middle of the defense for St. Michael Albertville is, is able to close that quickly. They're calling it a gain of one. It's a gain of about a half a yard. One is being generous. Yeah. And again, second and long, and you're backed up to the shadow of your end zone. You gotta be careful in this situation. While you've led all game, it, it's definitely not a route. No. Nope. Looked like it might be early on. Maddock flush from the pocket, throws on the run, pass complete to Fearing. Dives forward out close to the 15. It'll be third and short from there. Yeah, manageable third down situation here. Try and pick that up. 
It'll be third and two. Be closer to three. It looks like three. Ball yeah. at the nine. They put it right at, at the nine. The 14. I have the 14. I repeat you. Nine. Nine. Number nine. We just want to say nine. Number nine. Number nine. Big third down for the St. Michael defense. Try and get the Cardinals off the field again. They go to Kaijan on the screen on the left side. And they were ready for it. Well, that was Obrowski. Oh, we're both wrong. Yeah. It's Braden Walton. Yeah, great job, great tackle, making sure he didn't get upfield. Yeah, just needed two, but that's a heck of a defensive play. And so now they're going to get it back with good field position. Unless he booms one. Timeout Cardinals as St. Michael showed the block package at 10 men on the line. Coach Russin uh, thought better of letting that play out. I just want to sing along to this Queen song. You're more than welcome. Well, to. I don't know. We, we may lose viewers. So two possessions, two three and outs yeah. for the Cardinal offense. For an offense that was was humming for the most part in that, uh, in that first half. I mean, again, not a lot of first downs, but plenty of points. But it was big plays. It was big Two plays. Two big plays to, to Kaijan yep. and then the the long run for Danny Scheller that set up his touchdown. I, again, I, I'm not sure they've had much rhythm. This one's blocked. And they are going to have fantastic field position. Boy, things have... Uh have fallen apart a little bit for the Cardinals here in the second half. You know, two, three and outs. You, you give up a touchdown and a two-point conversion, and all of a sudden a block punt gets the Knights in really good field position to see what they can do. You start from the 23. That was Hudson Stone. We got in and got the block. He stoned him. Bartle under center. High formation in the backfield. Handoff goes to Kedia. He's got another good run. And will be close to a first down. Under two minutes remaining in quarter number three. STMA looking to make a, looking to capitalize here on a short field. And off Kedia again, he's got the first down and stopped up at about the 11 yard line. Gain of three. And just a little bit of a surge by that offensive front. Able to push that defensive line back. He could be able to pick up that first down. And we have another player down. <laughs> Nate Spindler, the injured Knights lineman. Yeah, 
we certainly hope he's okay. Clock stopped with 1.22 to go here in the third quarter. Jessler on his way out. Call a couple of teammates out to help him. It's not a good sign. No. When a lineman needs help off, yeah, you got to get a couple more linemen help him out off. there to get the big boys to help a big boy off. That's Give too, the assist. That's unfortunate. Hate to see that. It's a little uncomfortable. Already wearing a brace on that left knee. So the Knights have it first and 10 from the 11. High formation again in the backfield. Bartle will hand it off to Kadia, hit at the line, and force backwards. Kadia a little slow. slow. He, the way he was thrown down, there were some Calls for flags, but none come. No. Did get a one point or a one yard gain, second and nine. Graybull the deep back now. He gets the carry right side. Short gain. Bring up third down. Yeah, good. That time, good job by the defense to stuff that middle. Limit uh, production. Ball's at the eight yard line. They can get a first down at the one. They can. Kenny Wells with another tackle. Ross as well. Kedia back in, and he's the deep back on third down. Get the handoff. No, the play action. Throwing and incomplete. That was Looking great pressure. For Sebastian Murillo. Lamont Jones was in great pressure. Kick a field goal here. Would make it a seven point game. Plenty of height, plenty of distance, and plenty straight. So as you mentioned, all of a sudden, it's just a seven-point lead for Coon Rapids, who has really have done nothing here in the second half offensively. Just about at the end of the third quarter. To say almost nothing is to say they've done something. Okay, well, you know. Which they be... really have not. They have not. <laughs> they've been out there. They have... Uh, I mean, they gained seven yards. They went backwards on their first drive, lost a yard. Seven yards on their second drive, so 
six yards in the quarter on six offensive plays. One punt that was decent and one that was blocked. But they still have the lead at 21-14. They do. But the defense has to feel pretty good. Two, two three and outs forced. Marble short kick taken by Scheller at the 30, working his way all the way back to the right side of the field, trying to gain the corner. Not going to be able to find room. He's out of bounds short of the 35. He's walking a little gingerly, too, like he's uh, got something going on with his back. And that'll do it for the third quarter. The Cardinals will start on offense when we start the fourth. That's on the other side of a break on CTF. an average of 300 times per game of volleyball. Wow. And I think jumping up to go to the fridge is hard. The fastest volleyball serve was over 83 miles per hour. Yikes. If that serve were coming at me, they could have the point. I like my hands. They're dainty. Huh? Back at St. Michael Albertville High School, we got a good one going, a one-score game as we start the fourth quarter. Coon Rapids has it first and 10 from their own 34. They have that 21-14 lead. Maddock airing it out, looking for Cummings. Coleman and runs into the coverage. That ball probably uncatchable, yes, and the St. Michael defender is slow to get up. Yeah, he had a huge collision with uh, Kaijan. See it again. Yeah, that ball well overthrown. Uh, he had a step on the defender, but he was tempted to be double covered. And yeah, he, he was up there. Johnson high. was up in the air going after it. Came down hard. Right on that tailbone. Well, we certainly hope he's okay. Yeah, the trainers have been busy this They season. have. But it looks like right, good to see. he's most likely going to be OK. Able to get up and walk back across the field. Cummings Coleman in the backfield now with Maddock on second down. Three receivers on the left. Handoff goes to Cummings Coleman, looks for room on the right side, cuts up, and pushes his way forward out to the 40, a gain of five. Last first down for Coon Rapids, second drive of the second quarter. It was the last time and you see Kaijan grabbing. He seems to be okay. Oh, now he's coming out. Six yard gain as they place it at the 40. It'll be third and four. Coming Coleman checked out. Scheller in the backfield with Maddox on a big third down for this offense. 
Quick pass, right side is complete. Just got and it. And a first down. Yeah, they, they need to move the chains. There's Braden Waldron on the reception. They need to move the chains because they haven't done it in a while. Took a long time to, to get a signal from the yeah. official as to whether that was caught. So a fresh set of downs, first and 10 from the 45. Handoff, Scheller hit in the backfield and dropped for a short loss. And, and again, the, the defensive front for STMA is just doing a better job at winning at the point of attack than the Cardinals are in this second half. So lose the yard. Maddock throwing over the middle, complete to Cummings Coleman. He'll be short of the first down, but into St. Michael territory. It'll make it third in about three. Yeah, manageable third down situation for Coon Rapids here. I mean, they just want to sustain drive. They want to take time off the clock, nursing a seven point lead, but they want to sustain, sustain drive and they want to put points on the board. They want to put pressure back on St. Michael Albert. Third and two. Handoff goes to Scheller. He'll have the first down. Stopped at the 43. Make it to 42, gain of five. Cummings Coleman, the lone receiver up top. Maddock throwing long for him, trying to just let him go out and get it. Good coverage. Is, really good coverage. As uh, Salva Macchio was with him step for step. Yeah, just a really good job. And you gotta you gotta stick to him if you're gonna cover Kaijan. You can't give him any room. You certainly can't let him get behind you. Fearing shifts left to right. And off Scheller. Slips out of a tackle, breaks free, and he's going to have another first down just shy of the 30-yard line of St. Michael Albertville. Yeah, Cardinals need more of that. They obviously, they need to have a successful running game, but they also need to, uh, again, burn the clock if they can and continue to move the chains, which they're, they're doing here on this drive. And they need points. Well, and then I was going to say then they need points. You are correct. As usual. Mm. Yeah. There was some there were there would be some who would disagree with that statement. Right. First and ten from the 31. Another handoff to Scheller. No play action. Rolling is Matic. Tucks it wants to run. And he is gonna get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more. He had the edge. I'm not sure why he didn't continue to run around the end, but good job by the defense to, to close it. Put him in second long. Good 
Cummings Coleman, the man in motion. Handoff goes to Scheller, hit immediately. Dives forward for a short game. Ball came out. And the Knights have it. And that's huge. That is huge. Oh, definitely coming out. Yep. Ball security. And so now the Knights take over, first and 10 from their own 35, down a touchdown. Boy, what a big break for the defense. Jacob. Uh, tough blow for Danny Scheller. Trying to get a little extra yardage, ball pops out. Bartle out of the shotgun, rolling to his left, wants to run, cuts back, has a good carry into Cardinal territory. Stopped at the 48-yard line and a first down. Gain of 17. Ball spotted at the 49. Bartle hands it off. Kadia able to fall forward for a gain of five. And now St. Michael Albertville really in the driver's seat. They've got the momentum, they've got the ball. They certainly are, but they're trailing by seven. And off Kadia. Another good chunk. He'll be stopped at the 40. It'll be third and one. Well, if they continue to get four to seven yards per carry, that seven yard or that seven point difference. That'll be gone. Will disappear. And then the question becomes, do they go for the two point conversion? To win the game. Try which they were successful on their yep. first try. Hand off, Kadia, and he breaks free. Another first down. Stopped up at the Cardinal 27 yard line after a gain of 14. Yeah, just a great burst up the middle. Great job by the big boys up front to open that hole. And, you know, he does the rest. He's so quick. He's able to get through the middle and pick up that positive yardage. That defense, I'm sure, is a little tired out there. They've spent a lot of the they second have. half on the field. Well, and that's what Coach Russell said. We've got to get the defense off the field. Pass. It was tipped. Batted away. By Jones, I believe. Demont Jones got a piece of it. I, Logan Ness was in that passing lane as well. Cardinals were able to come up with a couple of key stops in that first half. Now trying to protect that one score lead. Fake the pitch, keeping it is Bartle. He's tripped up. He had a lot of green in front of him. Well, he, he's, uh, he's done that a couple of times this evening. Just that, that fake, which gets the defense going the other way, and he's able to take it up the middle. You saw him do a little shovel pass earlier in that same type of play. Gain of six sets up third and four. Graybow, the running back in the backfield with him. Quarterback keeper, he's got plenty of room on the outside of first down and more. Stopped at the 12-yard line of the Cardinals. First down. Yeah, again, just the offensive line is firing off the ball and, and really doing a good job of keeping the defense at bay. And 
Pardo with a nice job of getting around the edge. And you can see the, the, the guys making sure that they were holding their blocks, allowing him to find that corner. And again, this is the home opener for St. Michael Alberville. Started the season with a pair of games on the road. Yeah, Blaine at Anoka. Now trying to fight back from what was once a 21-3 deficit. Rolling out is Bartle, throws on the run, had a man in the end zone and just overthrew the intended receiver, Drew Luster. Or maybe that was Hiltner. Was that nine? Was it number nine? Number nine? Number nine? Well, let's just see if it was number nine. So I thought originally it was number eight, but maybe it was number nine. It could have been number nine. Number nine? Number nine. <laughs> Never gets old. Toss. <laughs> well, that's all that matters. <laughs> Second and ten from the 12. I haven't heard any complaints from the viewing audience. Another fake pitch, and again, Bartle trying to run. He tried to hurdle his way through and was stopped at the eight. Gain of four. Under four minutes remaining. See it again. Oh, he's hurdling his own man who is yep. down. Third and six from the eight. High snap, ball's on the ground. Bartle able to get it back. Short loss, fourth down. Yeah, they're fortunate they were able to get it back. Time out to call. Just took a, a fortunate bounce, really. Yeah, it did. For STMA. Loss of a yard. So this will be fourth and seven from the nine. They have an opportunity. They can get a first down at about the two, just inside the two-yard line. This could be the ball game. It really could. Big play. They have the right play dialed up. And defensively for Coon Rapids, they want to make sure that uh, they keep an eye on and just really stay at home, try and win that battle at the point of attack and push that offensive line back. Yeah, we saw defensive coordinator Zach Neenaver firing his guys up, making sure they're all on the same page. See one. It comes down to this. One for two on fourth down. Bartle throws over the middle. Touchdown, St. Michael Alberville. Wow. Owen Eggie finding a hole, securing the touchdown. And so now a one point game with the point after to come. 320 to go in the fourth quarter. And they will send Marble out to attempt the extra point. Fearing tried to dive in front of that pass and tip the ball, but just a little late. Kick is up. It is good. We are tied at 21. Yikes. It was all Coon Rapids in the first half. It's all STMA here in half number two. Might have been his best pass of the night. Wow, I mean, look at Fearing coming across. I Originally, I thought he had... He I thought gonna, he got a piece of it. I did, too. Just, just out of his reach. I, I, love, I love the effort there by Fearing, but unfortunately, the result wasn't what the Coon Rapids Cardinals were hoping for. And now, as uh, you mentioned, we're all tied up with 320 remaining, and the Cardinals looking for some, some kind of momentum. They well, haven't they had finally, any here in the half. They finally half. started getting their offense rolling, but then turned it over. 
A little bit, yes. But yeah, he turned the ball over and you stop a drive. Kick it deep, Kaijan will take it from the 17, looking to find a seam out across the 30 and close to the 35. Well, good field position nonetheless to start this drive here for the Cardinals. And now what can the Cardinals do on offense? to find a little more room, a little more rhythm. An opportunity with the game. Successful drive wins you the game here. Yes, absolutely. Maddock out of the shotgun, low snap. Scoops it up, throws it right side. That could be it's grounding. Be, it's got to be grounding. How's that not grounding? I'm waiting for the flag and not seeing it. There, yeah, it, there is. it is. Yeah, it has it to be grounding. To. Yep. Intentional yep. grounding. And that'll be yardage the plus the, plus the, the down. down. Yep. Five yard it's penalty. definitely not how they wanted to start. Loss of down. Oh, and they, they marched the yardage off from the spot. So, ball all the way back at the 15 yard line. And they've got to get to it the 45. Be, yeah, it'll be second and 30. And what's in your playbook for that? Joe so, Young, yeah, what, what are you calling? Get it to number two. It's the only hope you have at this point. Maddock looks over the middle, pass through the hands of Jared Fearing, incomplete. Yeah, not a lot of time off the clock, too. It's, you know, if they uh, if they go three and out here, it gives St. Michael Everett plenty of time to try and win this. And your tired defense yeah. has to march back out onto the field. This was a game again that, you know, looked like Cardinals had well in hand. Well, and I think they thought they did. The pass a little bit high, but that's one that Fearing has to come down with. I mean, it was early in the second quarter that they went up 21 to three. You see that? Now here they are, all tied up. See the numbers on third down for Coon Rapids. Not as efficient as they want to be. Delay a game it's going to be on the offense. Game. Back him up even Five further. Five-yard penalty. Third down. The crowd here at St. Michael Alberville High School has come to life. As well they should. Their team has made an impressive comeback. And now here it is, third and 35 from the 10. Bubble screen goes to Cummings. Coleman, and he'll get him some room, but. Still, they're gonna get good field position here. At least they should. Gain of about eight. Caden Johnson, Noah Miller, the deep back, standing right at midfield, awaiting the punt from Logan Ness. Taken at the St. Michael 49 by Miller, running all the way to the near side, but not getting any room upfield, gets across the midfield stripe. They will start in plus territory at the Coon Rapids 49. Uh, 2.08 remaining on the clock. And uh, yeah, as you mentioned, 
on the Coon Rapids side of the field. Good field position for the Knights here. And again, we'll, you know, we'll see. All the momentum. All the momentum. The Cardinals have zero momentum. They had plenty of momentum at the break. None now. Bartle out of the pistol, hands off. Kedia runs into a pile of bodies, gains a yard. It's an official's timeout okay. for an injury. We yeah. got Peterson. I know he does not want to come out of the game. Second and nine. Bartle looks to his left, throwing it long, has a man caught deep into Cardinal territory. Eggie dragged out close to the 15. Well, I thought that touchdown throw by Bartle was his best throw of the night, and I think that pass was his best throw of the night. He laid it in there perfectly where it needed to be, and now deep in Cardinal territory with a minute 38 remaining and, and a pretty good running game. Yeah, time definitely not an issue for St. Nope. Michael Albertville at this point. Got a couple of timeouts in their back pocket. Set up first and 10 from the Cardinals 14. They go with a full house backfield. Hand off and they just move the whole pile forward. Second and three, ball at the seven. Great bow again, left side, first down and stopped at the two. First and goal. Again, just great blocking up front. Now, give, give the Knights credit, they've done such a nice job here in the second half of taking over this game. Cardinals call timeout. Yeah, and they're a couple uh, they're a couple of yards away from taking their first lead of the night. Well, they've shown they, they've got a field goal kicker that can definitely put points on the board yep. from here. So they're not going to call timeouts. Nope. Cardinals have to preserve some time, knowing that pretty good chance that uh, St. Michael Alberville is going to be taking its first lead of the ball game here in the final minute of the fourth quarter. Defensive unit has got to be tired. They have spent a lot of time on the field in the oh, second half. Absolutely. And then you look at it, you've got your three top receivers are also playing defense. Yep. So they are on the field pretty much all night long. Well, the home home uh, crowd quiet at the end of the half certainly have a lot, a lot to celebrate here if uh, they can push it over the stripe. Under a minute remaining. Well, Graybow has been their power running back, dancing his way to the sidelines here on first and goal. Kedia is the deep back. Heavy package in, two tight ends on the right side. Quarterback sneak. Touchdown, St. Michael. Yeah, that, that, that play did not surprise me at all. That was a smart play. You've got a good runner behind the lab, that big line who's been winning the battle all night, all night, well, at least all half long. And uh, 
barring a miracle, the Knights are going to win this one. 52.4 seconds remaining. And I'm going to guess, while they did kick it long to Kaijan on the last kick. They won't kick to him. They will not kick this one to him again. And I, I think you know, the smart play may be just to kick it out of bounds. I know Centennial did that at least once yep. uh, in the opener. Just kick it out of bounds, no return. Give him the ball at the 35. Marble's extra point is good. Trailing all game. STMA now on the verge of scoring their first win up 28-21. Yeah, I mean, give them just a monumental collapse for the Cardinals in the second half. Like, they really couldn't get anything done. And they certainly could not stop the Knights. Cardinals' score, last score was less than a minute into the second yep. quarter. Nothing since. At that point, it was 21 to three. Knights have rattled off 25 unanswered points. Well, we'll see what Marble decides to do and what the uh, plan of attack is for the Knights. Line drive kick will roll to Kaijan inside the tent. Looking to find some sort of room to run, and he's wrapped up quickly and stopped short of the 15. Yeah, again, they've, uh, you know, I don't think Kaijan right now is 100%. I, I think he's uh, feeling some effects for some leg cramps, and he's been kind of grabbing the back of his, back of his leg a little bit here in the second half. And well, the Cardinals need to go 77 yards. 46 80, seconds. Sorry, no. Uh, that's 87 Seven, yards yep. in the next 45 seconds. Let's spread them out. Five receivers for Jacob Maddock on first and 10. Throw right side complete. Fearing dropped the ball, able to pick it back up and get out of bounds. Short gain out to the 20. Yeah, and time's certainly not on the side of Coon Rapids. And it's good to pick up yards, but uh, seven yards when not you need 87. It. Well, now all they need is 80. Maddock chased from the pocket, rolls to his right, fires it back across the grain, picked off, and that will do it. That was just on a hope and a prayer, just it was. an ill-advised, he's got to throw that away. Yeah, or, or get this run out of bounds is what he should have done. He had the opportunity. But yeah, that'll, that'll do it. The Cardinals are going to drop a tough one. Uh, they certainly uh, at half thought they had this game in hand, but unfortunately uh, they did not. And I'll tell you, they, uh, the Knights, I give a lot of credit to, did a really nice job. Knights have come out, take a knee, and they will score their first win. And what a way to do it. Again, an emotional night as they honored a, an alum who was tragically lost while serving as a Fargo police officer over the summer. And uh, they found themselves in a big hole early. They did. And I uh, give them a lot of credit. They fought back a terrific second half for the Knights. Uh, and they, again, scored 25 unanswered points. Come back from a 21 to three deficit to win 20-21. And they'll have identical records at one and two going into next week. Cardinals uh, will be at home against Champlain Park. St. Michael will uh, will ha be here at home against Centennial. That's a tough one for them. 
Yeah, the second half just belonged to St. Michael Albertville. Give them a ton of credit. They came out their, uh, their first drive. They just ran the ball right down the throats uh, of the Coon Rapids Cardinals. Katia had a fantastic night running the football. This, I believe, was his biggest run of the night, a 42-yarder. And then uh, it was Graybow finishing it off with the touchdown. And another field goal from 25 yards out, and then the fumble. And uh, turnovers were big. Actually, Coon Rapids won the turnover battle only two to the, or no, it finished three to three because of the interception there at the end. But uh, that was they battled a back a huge pass down at the sidelines to Eggy, and then finishing it off with the quarterback sneak was Will Bartle. They had the extra point in the final minute. They did, they trailed almost the entire game, but they found a way to win at the end. Yeah, with less than a minute left, they were able to score. And there was, a, as you mentioned, just a desperation heave by Maddox to try and get something done, but uh, threw the ball into the wrong hands. Yeah, and the road doesn't get any easier. They are at home the next two weeks. Next week against uh, Champlain, Champlain Park, Park. and yep. then the week after that, they host Anoka. Yep. Here's a look at what we have going on Monday night. Volleyball against Andover on the road. That will be at that Champlain Park versus Coon Rapids game next Friday. And then we'll see volleyball again on it Tuesday the 26th when the Cardinals host the Panthers from Spring Lake Park. But that's going to do it for this edition of CTN Sports. Again, the final score, St. Michael Albertville 28, Coon Rapids 21. I want to thank everybody out there for joining us and continuing to support everything we do here at CTN for the entire crew, including Bill Hupp and Howie Shapiro. I'm Joe Young saying goodnight.